I'm Travis Roach. I am an emerging full stack developer, graduating from Galvanize. A little bit about me. I was born in Vail, Colorado, and I grew up just down the road in a little town called Edwards, where I was fortunate enough to spend my whole life in the Colorado outdoors, playing team sports, snowboarding, and also playing a lot of golf, which brings me to the idea that I'd like to talk to you about tonight. Now, golf is already a four-hour commitment, at the very least. So, many of us do not have the time to show up an hour early. In some cases, to be sure that we're warmed up and ready to go for our rounds. Some of us get there at the last minute, either by nature or due to the random traffic that happens in Denver. <laughs> there are some opportunities to save some time here without taking away from our practice suites. Let's expand on the common saying, ready golf, by, to include how we can get on the course faster, and we also might be able to alleviate some of the pain that comes with ordering food and drinks while on the course. Wonder where the cart person is. <laughs> so this Ready, Get, Ready Golf app enables us to eliminate the lines of the clubhouse, the slow credit card processes that you have to deal with because we can't keep up with technology for some reason. <laughs> or simply having to carry your bags to three different places. Personally, this is my favorite. I, I don't like doing that. And I like to get right to my cart, be ready to go, and get going with my round. I don't practice either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check out the demo. So, this is my landing page here. You can check in, or excuse me, this is Ready Golf, and it's at the Christie Class Golf Course. So, you can implement this at any golf course. And that's me that's logged in, by the way. And now that you can check in and you can book a new tea time for the future, you can order food and drinks, and you can also shop pro shop directly from the app. So we're going to do a demo here, and demo the check-in process. You click that, you see your confirmed tea time at the top. You have the ability to add a, a rain bucket for some pack spots. You can also add some cheese if you like. Really anything from the pro shop. The guy will load it into the cart for you, and you just show your unique QR code to the cart attendant, and you're ready to roll. While you're on the course, you can, maybe you're on the 8th hole, you're about to approach the turn, you can order a hot dog, maybe some potato chips, maybe you fill the cheesesteak, you never know. But we're going to have that nice cold PBR as well. And we're going to have those three items in our cart, and we're going to check out here. And we can show that to the cart person and the person at the restaurant, and they just make sure that it's us that place the order, and we're ready to rock. So, the technologies that I use, everything that I use on the front end was a new technology for me. View Native is a wrapper around React Native. And I use Native Base for my component library. And I also use Expo for the development environment. On the back end, I generated a Node Express app with Connects to my Postgres database. And I deployed that to Heroku. Now, the challenges that I face are similar to everybody else that's try to do a native app, uh, whether you're a galvanizer or not. I don't think the thing ever stops. So, <laughs> the limited ecosystem with view native, and they do a really good job with the documentation, but there's only about this much of it. <laughs> so I gotta figure out the rest in React Native. So it's fortunate enough to learn a couple different things in the process. Um, and the compiling errors in general are just very difficult. You have to pull off some voodoo magic just to get your app to compile. And then every time you make a change, it recompiles and you have your fingers crossed the whole day. <laughs> Future implementations. I would like to add credit card and Apple Pay integration. Puts to implications a variety of different features, one of those being geofencing, which is once you enter a, a certain geographical area, such as the parking lot and the golf course, it will prompt you to check in if you haven't done so already. So you can go ahead and do that and have way. I also want to add course API integration so that it will tell you what your distance is as a whole. Maybe what club you should use or whatnot. And um, the internal platforms, I will meet with the golf course owners and see what they need to match up with the user facing app that I have for their inventory management, point of sales, and booking management system as well. Once again, my name is Travis Ropes, and this is Freddie Golf. Thank you very much. <laughs>